Cocktail fans, welcome back to the Drink Stuff channel. We are your one-stop shop for all your cocktail needs except the booze. Come and check us out. Syrups, purees, cocktail equipment, glasses, come and check us out. I am Steve the Barman and I am purely here for your fun, your friendly, your banterful cocktail inspiration. Each and every video I give you fun cocktail inspiration. Nothing pretentious, just fun recipes. Today's video I'm focusing on a kind of follow-up. It is sort of a Valentine's kind of thing, but it's all rock out all year round. Don't you worry, we're kind of going for rose and raspberry uh, this time. So rose syrup from William Fox, raspberry syrup. Previous video I did strawberry and rose. You know, this uh, just flavour combos. So slightly different cocktails to the strawberry uh, variant, just to kind of give you even more. Stay tuned for that. That's a banging Mai Tai at the end. Uh, but we've got some quality, quality drinks here. I love all of these. The, all 10 that I filmed, plus uh, the other four bonus recipes as well, are stunners. Uh, talking of the bonus recipes, don't forget, go and check out our community feed because there will be two bonus recipes in there, as I do for every single video now. Go and check that out. Uh, and as always, if you make any of these recipes or riff them up or flip them up or do whatever or just take the inspiration and create your own uh, kind of cocktails, upload them to Instagram. Steady, nearly spilt that. Upload them to Instagram. Uh, tag us in the actual photo, not in a comment, but in the actual photo. Tag us there, and then that will live on our tag feed, and we will share some of the best ones to our stories. So cocktail number one, we're going for a chocolate raspberry and rose caipirinha. Uh, so we've got the rose, raspberry and rose syrups uh, going on. Uh, white rum of choice. I think this will work quite nicely with a spiced rum as well. It's completely up to you. Remember, I'm here for inspiration, that's all. Uh, my final dregs of my kind of uh, cacao blanc, sort of white, well, a lighter white, a clear chocolate liqueur in a sense. Uh, I need to get a new bottle. I've had it for flipping ages. I don't use it that much, but obviously chocolate and raspberry goes really, really well together. And Turkish Delight fans, we know full well raspberry, rose and chocolate goes really well. So this is going to work. And some lime juice. Uh, I've lost my jigger, so I'm going to go for a fresh jigger. I don't know whether it's probably being washed up over there somewhere. Uh, 50 ml double bubble of your uh, your rum of choice, whatever you're going for. Uh, and then we're going for, as I did with the strawberry and rose in the previous video, I'm going for 15 ml of uh, raspberry syrup. Uh, and then I'm gonna go 10 ml of the rose syrup because I think that kind of matches out beautifully. So 10 ml of rose in there. Uh, and then to match that up with the syrup, I'm going um, 25 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice. And then hopefully I've got enough, not measured this, but hopefully there should be about 15 mil of uh, cacao blanc in there. Oh, there's going to be more. Oh, yeah, 20 mil. There we go. Let's go. A bit of extra chocolate, and we finish the uh, we finish the the bottle. Perfect. Right, uh, it's crushed ice. That's as simple as caipirinhas get. They're you know they're all, almost sort of daiquiris in a sense. But caipirinhas are always sort of served over crushed ice. Obviously, a traditional caipirinha is cachaça. Cachaça is going to work. Obviously, of course, it is. This is technically a caipirissima. Bless that get all political in here. Right, crushed ice, just to keep us going. Um, bar spoon, give it a good stir, give it a good churn. There we go, magicals, more crushed ice, just to kind of fill up. There we go, you can never have too much crushed ice, or crushed ice, or ice in general. Remember, the more ice you have in a glass, the colder your glass stays for longer, therefore the less dilution you get in your cocktail. And then the first of many, probably, um, I've got a raspberry kebab just on there for the garnish. That is amazing. The chocolate, and the kind of chocolate vibes going off there with the raspberry and rose, that is insane. That is so, so good. You get a slight sort of perfume of the rose. Obviously, the raspberry flavour, the rum comes. Oh, that's delicious. That's good. Right, cocktail number two, I'm going for a raspberry and rose cheesecake. Very similar to a cocktail I did in the previous video with the strawberry. However, I've just seen it over in the shelf. I haven't rocked them out for ages. I'm going for Jack Daniels uh, Tennessee Fire Cinnamon Whiskey. Think Fireball as well. I think the Fireball or the sort of cinnamon notes of this will work a treat. So, uh, split base of that with amaretto, the raspberry and rose syrups, and then I've got some cream. This is going to be... Um, a uh, shaken down cocktail. So, I've just got my other jigger out. There it is. I thought, we're back. We're back to proper measurements now. So, uh, 15 ml of uh, the raspberry syrup there from William Fox. We're then going for 10 ml of uh, the rose syrup from William Fox. <laughs> Good old George. 
Right, and uh, then 25 mil of, um, this is gonna be a little bit sweeter, but it's gonna be fun, isn't it? So we're going for 25 mil of your Tennessee Fire. I always call this, I forget what I call it now, but I'd never wanna call it Tennessee Fire. Cinnamon whiskey, scent. Uh, and then we're going 25 mil of uh, Amaretto or an almond liqueur. Perfect. And then as the previously, this is all measured out. So 50 mil double bubble of your cream. Lovely. And then I'm just gonna shake this down with plenty of ice. Good hard fast shake. You'll have noticed my coupe glass here just chilling down. I say you don't have to, but I'll keep them in the freezer. It's, it's up to you. Uh, and then just going to double strain this. I've served the previous one up in a rocks glass over ice. I'm gonna double strain this one now in a coupe glass. Lovely, and that will, that's nice and thick. After a few taps, that'll fill the glass up perfectly. There we go, edited out 30 seconds of tapping. We've got, we've got it pretty much there. And then garnish again, as I said in the previous video, some ginger biscuits or hobnobs or something ground on top. But as, as we're going for the whole roast thing, I've got some of this dried, there we go, pop it on top. Some dried, uh, uh, I was gonna say raspberry, then dried rose petals just on top. Oh my word, what a shout. That was a last minute swerve, because I was gonna do vodka. That was a last minute swerve onto the uh, cinnamon whiskey. That is divine. I, I would, the raspberry obviously works well, but I'd like to try that with the strawberry one in the previous video, that whole cinnamon. That, that might get finished. <laughs> I might have to make another one of these for the video, for the, for the thumbnail. Cheers. Right, Cocktail 3, I've actually come up with a brilliant name for this, unlike me, look, and I've called this Time for a Raspberry and Rose Martini. Time, see, clever enough, clever. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> I've got a Nick and Nora glass, uh, kind of chilling down there. This is very much one that you could riff out, do crazy different gins, like proper premium gins with this. I think this would come off a treat. Uh, some raspberry rose syrup, uh, some lemon juice, some thyme, and some gin. Shaking cocktail. Uh, so let's just get cracking on with this. So as always, we're gonna do my 10 mil of um, the rose syrup there. We're gonna do, I was gonna put that over there. Uh, 15 mil of the raspberry syrup, which is gonna be banging. I think, I'm gonna do 50 mil, but I think this one's gonna be a little bit better if you go kind of US and kind of go sort of 60 mil double bubble that extra. I love working in US, but for the purposes of UK videos, 50 mil double bubble of, uh, of your gin of choice. Let's just do the uh, lemon juice while I'm here. I think balancing this out, 25 mil of lemon juice, same as what I've done for the sugar, I think is gonna be perfect now. I think potentially you need to sort of strip the leaves off here. Just pick the leaves off and uh, kind of, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do pick most of them off. I'll edit a little bit of this out, but kind of pick the leaves off. Um, a couple of sprigs worth of leaves going in there because thyme is kind of a very fragrant um, herb. Right, and I've picked most of that off, so that's gonna be fine. Uh, we're then just gonna shake this down, proper hard, fast shake. Get rid of your ice that's chilling that down, if you've bothered to chill your glass down. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, I'm steadily working my way up to sort of mixologist, didn't I? <laughs> Ego tenderish. Right, uh, double strain, just to kind of tap. You can, I mean, I would double strain in a glass like this just to catch the tiny little shards of ice, but I'm catching the, uh, the thyme leaves as well. So good double strain. And again, a good couple of seconds of banging just to get all that last little bit out. Perfect, that'll do. And then to garnish, hopefully this should work. Should still be, yeah, I kind of did this a couple of minutes ago. I've just kind of wedged some thyme in between some a raspberry kebab there. Wow, that is so elegant, so floral. The thyme does come out in there. As I think, I think it needs a little bit more punch of the gin. I think an extra 10 mil, that whole 60 mil works a little bit better in that cocktail. But that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning, love that. Right, cocktail four, time for your simple highball. And don't forget, there will be two more bonus recipes on our content feed on our channel. You'll have already seen how to go and find them, but don't forget, two more recipes up there. One is a very delicious riff on the bramble, so make sure you go and check that out. Here's your token highball. Uh, so basically the two syrups, raspberry, rose syrup, uh, lemon juice, um, vodka, I've gone for this, and some ginger ale. 
I think this is gonna be perfect. I know raspberry and ginger works, so uh, let's go for this. So 50 mil, double bubble, no need to shake this one. You can do, uh, just no need to if you want to. Uh, so uh, double bubble with vodka, 25 mil of lemon juice. Uh, we're going 10 mil of the rose syrup. Perfect. And then I'm going uh, 15 mil of the raspberry syrup. Good old William Fox's syrups. There we go. And then just kind of loosely top that up with ginger ale. Ginger beer might work as well for this. I just want the subtlety. So the ginger ale kind of notes on this. So kind of about half fill up for now. That'll do fine. Take your long bar spoon, give it a good kind of churn. You could also throw some raspberries in here as well, bits of raspberry, that might work a treat. Give it a good churn. Top up with uh, more ice, there you go. And then garnish wise, um, just basically steal your raspberry kebab off this cocktail. <laughs> I haven't got any more picks, I need some more picks. But kind of that. Sprig of mint might work a treat in here as well. Um, whatever you kind of fancy, but uh, raspberry, rose and ginger highball. Stunningly delicious, so simple. All three of those combine really well. The ginger ale, the rose, the raspberry. You could even punch through with a different flavoured vodka or something like that. Honestly, I don't think you need to with this one. Just let the flavours, the three flavours do the work because they are beautifully balanced with that lemon juice. Ginger, raspberry, rose, jobs again. Now for the fifth and final cocktail, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I am pretty much guaranteeing that this is gonna work purely for the flavors uh, involved here. But I'm gonna do uh, a Mai Tai, a raspberry and rose Mai Tai. Sticking with, cause you know I love my rum. So sticking with my rum theme. So ingredients, decent sort of aged rum. If I was on my channel, I would use uh, a lot of different rums to what I'm using now, but we've got Havana Especial here. Quality rum, don't get me wrong, quality rum. Uh, go and Cointreau for my orange liqueur, Grand Marnier, Pierre Ferrand, uh, orange curacao, something like that. I've got Falernum because I was thinking Orgeat syrup, but then that's three syrups. Yes, Falernum is a little bit sweeter, but it's not kind of as sweet as like the Orgeat or Jeet syrup up there. Uh, Angostura bitters and some lime juice. So let's go for it. Uh, 10 mil of the rose because proper Orgeat syrup has got a little bit of rose in it as well. So. Uh, the addition is the, the raspberry. It, it won't be as punchy rose as what we're doing here, but uh, it's kind of where my head is for this. So uh, 10 mil of rose, 15 mil of raspberry. I am gonna go US for this, sod it. So uh, a 60 mil, so I've got 40, because these are only diddies, 40 and 20, 60 mil of um, decent rum, 15 mil of uh, Cointreau orange liqueur. So kind of helping that little bit of extra booze um, carry the sweetness through of this as well. Uh, and then I'm going for 10 mil of Falernum. Uh, dash of Angostura bitters or two. I'm going for two dashes of Ango. You can get these from most supermarkets. One, two, perfect. And then the only ingredient I haven't done yet is my lime juice. And that's going to be 25 mil of lime juice. So pop that all in your shaker. I can already get the aromas. This is going to be amazing. It's a good hard fast shake. Then to serve this up, I've got my fun sort of tiki glass. I'm just going to single strain this over crushed ice. Look at the colour of that. That should be perfect. Remember, plenty of crushed ice. Crushed ice, the more ice you have in your drink, the colder your drink stays for longer. Therefore, the less dilution you have. That is perfect. And then again, we're going to steal that. A lime, I was going to do a lime husk, but I forgot, I've just been the lime. The, a lime husk um, and then put a ri raspberry in the middle there. But raspberry and rose Mai Tai. That is a strong 10 out of 10. The rose, the raspberry, the rum, the, the, every single flavor. There's not one flavor I don't pick out on that. That is proper amazing. Orange, rum, falernum, rose, raspberry. That is a real quirky Mai Tai, I love that. So there we go gang, five stunning recipes, absolutely stunning recipes, raspberry and rose um, for Valentine's for all year round. It's just a combo that works. Comments below, let me know which is your favorite. Don't forget to check out the bonus content as well on our community feed. And if you want even more recipe inspiration, dive into that video right there.